going to discuss about the types of parsers we have the types of parsers okay so first of all you understand what is a parsing the parsing is a process of deriving string from a given grammar and the parsing will be done by the parser okay you can say the process of deriving strings the process of deriving strings the string from the grammar from the grammar uh, is known as parsing and the parsing will be done by the parser and the parsing will be done by the parser by the parser and there are two types of parsers there are two types of parsers two types of parsers number one there's a top down parser top down parser and number two there's a bottom up parser bottom up parser i'll tell you what is the top down parser and bottom up parser okay so in the in case of top down parser when we discuss about the top down parser in this case you know the top uh, the parse tree starts at the root and proceeds to the child or can they proceeds to the children so parse tree starts from the root start from the root and then proceeds to children proceeds to children and when we discuss about the bottom up parser in case of bottom up parser the parse tree starts at the children and proceeds to the root the parse tree starts at the children and then uh, proceeds to the root proceeds to root and then proceeds to root let me give you a very simple example of this assuming that we are having the following grammar s can derive a a b e where a can derive a b c slash b a b c slash small b and this b can derive d and for this given grammar assuming that we want to generate a string and the string is given by w is a b b c d e then how can you generate this particular string from this grammar so you can see uh, we can from s we can generate a a b and e further this a can generate a b c and further this a can be replaced by b and this b can be replaced by small d so the entire string which we which we are generating from this one is a b b c d e so it is a b b c d e which is the string given by this one okay so when we discuss about the top down parser then top down parser will try to generate from the top to the end that means from the root to the children that is top down approach and when we discuss about the bottom up that means we'll start from the bottom and we'll go to the top that means given this string we'll try to go back to the previous case that means we are trying to you know uh, identify what is the previous uh, for example from b how to uh, get to a and from this a how to eliminate or you can say how to you know uh, go back to the previous statement okay so there are these two types of parcels are there now for these two parcels there is a challenge when we discuss about the top down parser then if there are multiple choices then out of those cho choices which choice we should choose for example here when we discuss the top down parser if there is a production there are two choices for a then out of these two choices which choices should we choose and there is a, a same a similar kind of uh, problem with the bottom up parser the bottom parser has to decide if there are multiple choices which are present then to which choice it should go back to okay i'll explain that in the coming videos don't worry just understand what is a top down parser and what is a bottom up parser now there's a difference between the top down parser and the bottom up parser bottom up 
parser so in case of top down parser we use the left most derivation left most derivation and in case of bottom up parser we use the reverse of reverse of right most derivation reverse of right most derivation i'll tell you what is that and then the second point is in case of top down parser we start at the top and proceed to the child we start at top and proceeds proceeds to children and in case of bottom up parser we start at the children we start at the children and proceeds to the root and proceeds to root okay and here the problem is what should we expand that is expansion is a problem and here the problem is what should be reduced that is reduction is a problem in case of bottom up parser okay so you know the difficulty with the top down parser is when a variable contain more than one choices or you can say more than one productions then choosing the right choice is going to be a difficult task okay so you can write it like this uh, the difficulty the difficulty with top down parser is when the variable contains when the variable contains more than one choice more than one choice or you can say production now choosing the right choosing the right production the right choice choosing the right choice is going to be difficult is going to be a difficult task is going to be a difficult task okay and when we discuss about the bottom up parser in case of bottom up parser uh, you know identifying the substring or you know which will give the our required variable so that we will start the symbol is difficult task in bottom up parser you can say uh, identifying when we discuss about the bottom up parser it should be identifying identifying the substring the substring or you can say handle substring which will give which will give our required variable our required variable so that we will go to start symbol so that we'll go to the start symbol is difficult task is difficult task in bottom up parser bottom up parser okay and here see in when i'm saying substring now here we could have written handle substring handle substring and when i'm saying handle substring for example a a uh, no handle substring for example we have b we have a b c we have d we have a b b e uh, these are the handle substring that is these are the choices okay uh, that we'll see don't worry uh, how i'm saying these are the choices i'll i'll show it to you okay so see these top down parsers are again of two types number one top down parsers with backtracking second one is top down parser without backtracking and the top down parser with backtracking that is they're also called as recursive descent parser and the top down parser without backtracking they're also called as productive parser and we'll see pr productive parser and then we have ll1 parser which is non recursive descent parser okay so now let us uh, move on with this topic